Second full day of being in Tokyo, I, this hands down was my best favorite day. Um, so it, it, ugh, well, the weather was not the best. Um, and it started the second half of the, of the day. So the first half in the morning, I went to, I believe I'm going to pronounce it wrong, but, um, maybe I won't, but, um, the way that I might know it is Meijing. Um, I will insert the proper name. That's what you saw in the beginning of this video is Meijing. The walk is pretty long, not really bad. And it was very, very dead because it was there at like eight o'clock in the morning. And the temple didn't open just yet. And actually, once I got all the way to the front of the main temple, it was really pretty, really wide open. I just, I loved all the arches. I loved like all the, like the, Riffing style. It was really awesome. And just going through those doors to get into like the main area of just like the temple. I don't know if it's temple or a shrine. Um, I should look that up. <laughs> um, but it was beautiful. It was nice. I highly recommend going to this one. Um, I don't know how busy it gets, but when I was leaving from the temple, coming back down the pathway, it was starting to get busier. There was like a lot of tour groups coming in around maybe like nine o'clock in the morning. So, um, so right when you walked in, there was a station off to the left side. Um, and they were, it was like a washing station. So you wash your hands in the water and you rinse out your mouth. Not going to lie. I think I drank some water. So, um, not on purpose. It was just on accident. Um, and so, cause I was there so early, nothing was really open at all. They were just trying to get things open. So I made it all the way up to the temple and I, unfortunately I really wanted to do some writing on the wood to put in the, um, there's like a little section near a tree. I really wanted to put something there, like a wish. And it just, it didn't happen. Sorry, I keep on looking at the screen because I was like trying to refresh my memory of like everything I did. So then I walked back down. I went to the souvenir shop. Souvenir shop is very good. In my opinion, it was great. I bought a majority of things there that are Japanese 
traditional based items. Um, so then after that, it was still early in the morning. It was getting close to 10 o'clock. So I walked my way to um, Ralph Lauren. I know that's a little weird, but I was like, oh, coffee, some like a snack, and like, let's go to Ralph Lauren. <laughs> um, so I did take a picture. I'll insert it here. I just took a picture of my coffee. I had a avocado toast. It's very good. Um, not like the best one I ever ate, but it was good. Um, and then I forgot to bring my razor with, so I did ask one of the employees, they're really sweet. She directed me up going back close to the entrance of Harajuku, because I was in the Harajuku area. And it was like a whole Harajuku day. And she was like, oh, you can go to that drugstore up over there. I'm like, okay, because I wanted to go back the other way, but I didn't, so I went back up front of like the Harajuku area where I'm close to where the train stops are. And I went to the drugstore, I got a razor. Um, Cause I'm like, I'm gonna have some hairy legs. <laughs> and like, this is not gonna be great. Um, so then I'm like, okay, well, since I'm up here, the main entrance to get to Harajuku street, like the main drag of Harajuku, I'm like, okay, let's just do that. And then we'll make our way to this museum down at the other end. And I, because I was there super early in the morning, like 10 o'clock, like 10.30ish, maybe close to 11, a lot of the shops weren't open yet. Uh, I'm probably thinking they would open up 11, maybe 11.30. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. We'll just go through the ones that are open. And I slowly walked through it. It wasn't really packed or busy. It was pretty easy breezy to get around everyone. And I just went in and out of shops. I went to a gachapon shop. And uh, I'll insert that video because I do have a small clip of the gachapon shop that I was in on the Harajuku, like main drag street. So insert that now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I kept on walking. Um, there was a, like a lot of the cafes were down that street. So there was like an otter cafe, which they, the lady had like a little otter out, which you cannot take a picture of because she was like, no picture. I'm like, okay. Like I never seen an otter just chilling on her shoulder before, but okay. I won't take a picture. Then they had the pig, um, the little pig cafe. They had a dog cafe. And then they just had a bunch of like random shops. And I went into the shops. I got a couple of shirts that were like, you know, very like touristy shirts, you know. I'm like, why not? Like, it's cool. I can wear them to work out in. Um, actually, for shirt sizing, I normally wear a large. You probably want to get an extra large. Um, and some of the, if they're a combined size, so it's a medium large, you probably could still fit in that and be fine. But for some reason, if it's just a large, you need to go for the extra large. Because, like, a large is almost like wearing a medium. Yeah. Go figure. <laughs> yeah. But they're all skinny there. Like, they're, they're, they're thin. Like, Japanese people are, are very thin. Um, and they walk everywhere. But anyways. Um, so I just kept on going down the street. Once I got towards the end of it, I'm like, I'm really tired. I want to get some coffee. Then I was like, oh, then I had to go to the bathroom. So I found a shopping mall to go to the bathroom in. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, let's, let's speed this up. Like, let's go all the way to this um, museum slash really fancy landscaping arboretum, basically, almost. Like a Japanese arboretum with basically Chinese artifacts. Maybe Japanese artifacts. It just it kept on saying China and all the artifacts. I have no pictures of inside the place because you're not supposed to take pictures inside. But I'll insert everything they do have right here. <laughs>
have a cafe in the garden area. By the time I got there, there was already a line and I didn't want to stand anymore. I was like, I'm hungry. I'm, I want a drink. Like, I want coffee. This day, I was just standing and walking a lot. So, after this day, I wasn't really feeling that well body-wise. Um, but this day was my favorite day. I don't know why. It just was. So then after walking all the way towards the end, I walked all the way back to the main like shopping area, not like Harajuku, like that little tiny alley street, like the main drag with like uh, Kitty Land on it and all the designer shops are on it. I don't know the name of the street. And if I did, I probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it. Um, but I did go into Kitty Land. Um, I didn't really shop the whole thing. It was a little bit busy. Also, I'm not into all that stuff that's in there. Like, it's cool. Yeah, it's great. Like, I know a lot of it. But I was like, okay, take me to the floor of Disney and then I want to get out of here. Then I started walking Cat Street. And then it started raining. So then I did stop. Oh, I think I might have a picture of the matcha place I went to. It was like Tokyo Matcha. I'll insert the picture here. I just tried a matcha latte and I did buy their matcha and it is pretty good. Um, I'm still like not used to the matcha flavor. Um, it's very earthy. It's not bad. I think it's the best one that I ever did have so far. And I only really had three in total with them in it. Um, but it was good. It was fine. Just, I need to add sugar and then I'd be okay. Um, so I started walking Cat Street a little bit and then it started really raining and then I was like, okay, I just kind of want to go back to the hotel. But before I go back to the hotel in the Ginza area, I want to get dinner and I just want to sit for like an hour or something like that. So I went to hands down the best gyozas I have ever had. Um, I don't know what this guy does. He's a miracle worker. They're freaking awesome. So it's Harajuku Gyozas. And it is near the Cat Street area. Um, so you just zigzag around. And the man, he's a genius. He doesn't speak English. Um, all you have to do is do some hand gestures and he gets it. He's great. Um, I was talking ish to the owner, like talking ish, like hand gestures and pointing. Um, but then his, his workers, um, they spoke a little bit of English. Um, they they were all Indian. So I know they spoke Indian to each other. And I think they definitely do speak Japanese. Um, cause the owner was talking Japanese to them. So they definitely, speak Japanese, but they can also translate because then his, his boss was saying something like to one of the, uh, his workers. And then the worker was translating to me what he said to him. And, um, it was funny because then I was like, cause I, just to kind of keep this somewhat short, he was keeping the little cash wrap a little messy. And the owner was like, no, this is my area. <laughs> like that's your area. Keep this place space clean, please. And I said like, you know, shame on you for not keeping the space clean. <laughs> and then like the owner was just like, he knew I was like saying like, sh shame on you <laughs> situation. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was cute. And then at some, I had already, oh, I tried a beer there. This beer is everywhere though. The beers are really good. Um, it reminds me of like a Miller Lite, Coors Light, that kind of situation. And Pitcher will be right here. It's really good. Um, and that brand is just like all over the place. I think you can also find it in, it's, it's definitely in Epcot in the Japan pavilion. So I'm very excited if I ever go back to Epcot my caboose, my butt is going straight to that place to get that beer because that beer was very good. Um, so then at some point I ordered another round of gyozas and I said, you know, like your gyozas are like a chef's kiss. Amazing. And he was so sweet that he brought out this little like dipping sauce for me. I don't know how to describe it. I don't really know what it is, but he just told me to like dip my gyoza in it. And, um, it was good. Um, I can tell you it's uh, tan, mushy substance, but it, it, mushy being, it's a good thing. <laughs> um, but I will definitely leave that restaurant in here for you guys to go to. He, his gyozas are good. Um, all the gyozas I ate, they were great. 
I highly recommend going there. And he's so nice. And it's in Cat Street, so you get the vibes. You get all that really cool, like, Japanese vibe. You know, like, it's it's perfection. Um, so then after that, I did leave the Harajuku area, and I went back to my hotel. I think I did stop. I stopped at 7-Eleven every single night. I probably got, like, water, and I might have gotten breakfast or something like that. But hands down, this was my favorite day. I don't know why. Even though it was raining, I really didn't do that much. I would just, I would love to go back to this area again, most definitely, and explore a little bit more. Um, so yeah, um, I would say this is the end of this video, um, but more to come because there's a lot more, <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.